JBN, we keep you informed. Don't go back to the river. It's not safe, Mother said. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Having buried her mother last October and now losing her 16-year-old son, Jonathan Eccleston, who drowned in Trelawney last Thursday, Magria Sivright is having a hard time coping. Eccleston, a grade 11 student of the William Nib Memorial High School, drowned at a river in Perth town where he had gone fishing with a group of friends. Every time I look upon him picture, I feel torn. It makes me sad, Sivright 48 said. I try so hard to escape everything that is happening. I don't even want to use my phone because everybody have him picture upon WhatsApp. The second of our four children, Eccleston, would have celebrated his 17th birthday on March 30. Steve Wright said that he had never done anything special for his birthday. This time I was going to take him out to eat. Now that I'm not able to do it, my head hurt because I was looking forward to it, she said. Steve Wright, who recalled having a tight bond with her son, said that the day before his passing, he greeted her with a kiss and a hug. I can remember when I came home from work, as I stepped out of the taxi, he run to me and give me a tight hug and said, Mommy, you know so I love you. Me love you, you know, Mommy. She reminisced. Siv Wright said that she remembered warning her son about being obedient because he had left home for his school's sports day on Tuesday, but instead went to the river. I turned to him and I said, Jonathan, can you swim? Don't go back to the river. It's not safe, she said. Two days later, Eccleston again went to the river. His mother did not know he was heading there. She said that a few hours before she got the news of his death, her gut feeling told her something might have happened to him. When my daughter called me and she told me Sam gone to the river, she didn't even say anything else to me. I just know, Steve Wright said. Me just start have a trembling feeling in my belly and my hand didn't get cold. When me go outside my workplace and see my daughter, me just scream out and drop to the ground. The distraught mother said Eccleston was passionate about football. His school's acting principal, Audrey Steele, said he was never referred to her for disciplinary matters, so she knew of him to be a quiet child. I saw him around the school and when I inquired about him, I found out that he was humble and mannerly. Those are the adjectives I would use to describe him, she said. Steve Wright said that she could depend on him to take care of his younger brothers. He would also do the chores around the house when I asked him. No, I don't know. I can't explain the pain I'm feeling right now. It is hard, she said. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.